I would describe a full guy as unathletic, but ambitious. Full guys are designed to have the least practical shape for the tasks that we make them do. Dog, uh, they have like those round shapes, uh, they have those little legs, uh, they are struggling a little bit. When starting out with character design, um, before I even start drawing, I usually like to write some notes. Um, even if I've just got a sentence to run on, at least I know I'm making informed design decisions rather than arbitrarily just trying to come up with cool shapes. The whole team meet together and we start sharing ideas about how we visualize this character during the game. So we spend a lot of time, but we have fun as well. So that's the perfect moment to, to tell everything you have. You, know, you can give your ideas, you, you are free to say what you think. And through that process, we actually ended up finding a lot of inspiration from a vinyl toy design by our UI artist, um, who's a huge collector of vinyl toys. I think we knew we'd hit the right design when we'd hit that sweet spot of the character feeling like you could achieve the movements you wanted to make, but you didn't feel overly athletic. So when the concept artist has locked down the uh, character design, he will then go on to create a model sheet or a turnaround which means that it will create uh, left and right and uh, back and front versions of that 2D character. Uh, those shapes are then uh, translated into 3D uh, by the 3D artist. Um, and through that process, we found out um, some details that we couldn't find through a 2D concept. Once the character has been modeled by the 3D team, that gets handed over to the animators and we're basically trying to figure out the rig and range of motion uh, and making sure the proportions are working. The skeleton of our character, uh, the fall guy, is actually strangely close to the ones uh, that were made for the minions in the minions movie. Is we have those super lower hips that are super close to the bottom. And so, uh, because when you see the minions when they run, they wiggle their butt very, uh, a lot. And uh, uh, the fall guys do the same, their butt wiggles a lot because of how the skeleton is. In this project is is been a challenge to to overcome the fact that it doesn't have any face expression. So that's that's uh, the reason we make him with such a long arms and huge body in order to use his body posture to make him look sad or happy or frustrated. In this game, my favorite character animation is the set snap animation. This is one of those animations we we made for when the character wins, so you have to win one stage in order to see this one. I'm sorry about that. Players will have the opportunity to customize the characters and that's really important because there's going to be so many in screen and they want to be able to pick themselves out. It helps you feel attached to your little beam dude as it is running through on its journey between smashing walls and wrecking balls and anything that does it harm and you just will it to make it towards the end. You can uh, choose between lots of top and bottom costumes but you can also mix in and you can change the pattern that's on him you can change the colors of that pattern and you can mix and match uh, all of these different elements to create your own and unique four guys it does look like the four guy has fallen into a theater wardrobe and has walked up to the starting line wearing whatever didn't fall off for me it's been kind of returning back to when i was a kid maybe like you know seven or eight years old um, and just thinking up silly ideas like oh, I want to wear a banana costume or be a, a pizza slice. <laughs> I've done a lot of birds, I've done a frog, a sheep and a bat, I've done recently a superhero and I've done a viking and a ninja. I really like the pigeon costume just because the head looks ridiculous. Uh, in this game, in this specific project, my favourite costume is the pineapple costume. I love pineapple, so when I when I saw this this costume, I thought that's lovely. I want to buy one of these for me. Uh, we thought about having uh, glowing parts of the costumes, and one day I had the time to do that, and so uh, I made it work with the uh, pirate variant that has that like glowy hook, and he has that uh, super cute little skull on his uh, hat. My favorite costume is definitely the toucan um, because it is kind of comical. Um, it's a bird, but it has these massive teeth 
going all the way along the beak and I just think that's really funny. So now that you know a little bit more about the creation of the Fall Guys, why not enter our Make a Fall Guy competition for your chance to see your design in-game. For more information, check out the link in the description or head over to fallguys.com. Good luck.